Modern Warfare 2 finally released and today we're going to go over the best settings that you can use for a controller on PC. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Hop right into it. A lot of people are looking up best settings right now for Modern Warfare just because of the release of the game. But these will change over time just with nerves, the movement, you know, all that good stuff. So right now, these settings that I'm using are unbelievable and I really recommend you guys try these. So let's hop into it. So obviously you're going to have a controller uh, for your uh, aiming input device. Then we're going to go to the button layout. I run stick and move. Um, I do have paddles on the back of my controller, the regular uh, Sony default paddles. I just love stick and move. I always have. And then controller vibration, make sure that is off because obviously in gunfights, you do not want your controller to vibrate because that could, you know, risk your shots and not hit them um, as well if you have that on or if you have that off. So make sure you have that off. Um, just make you more accurate. So horizontal six sensitivity, I run a nine. A uh, nine nine for vertical and horizontal. I recommend that. It's it's right in the middle between you know slow and super insane. Like some people run twenty, but I don't see the need for that. So I really recommend nine nine uh, for the sensitivity. But I will play with this. I will go up a little bit and I will drop it a little bit just to see where that you know that perfect uh, spot is for me. But right now that is nine nine. Uh, ADS sensitivity multiplier. I have that at point nine. I have seen people run point eight and even point seven. So the higher your sensitivity is, I recommend dropping that down a little bit lower. So if I was playing on 13, 13 or 15, 15, I would probably drop it down to about a 0.8 if I did that. So and then vertical aim assist, I didn't change anything with those or the sensitivity multiplier or multiplier. Okay, for gameplay, we hold for the ADS um, sight behavior, or aimed on sight behavior. I have the uh, hold automatic sprint. You definitely want automatic, automatic tactical sprint to save your controller from breaking in the first month or day, depending on how much you smash that, that left analog stick. Uh, then equipment behavior i have hold um i may change this and play with this just depending on war zone and all that good stuff uh when that comes out weapon mount activation ads plus melee just kind of like i kept it the same from modern warfare 2019 interact and reload behavior tap to interact so i hold to reload um and tap to interact you know to open up doors and all the good all that good stuff i have apply all to armor that doesn't really apply much to multiplayer uh or multiplayer but it will going forward uh, obviously in the next couple weeks when war zone 2 drops Okay, then I'm going to advanced settings. I have obviously target aim assist. I have that on aim assist type. I have default. Um, I just kept it default. A lot of people play with these. I will mess around with these, but I always seem to go back to default no matter what. So I recommend default and it's always been the best one in my opinion. Uh, aim response curve type dynamic. I think that is the best one by far. And I made this change in Modern Warfare 2019 in Warzone um, only a couple months ago and or three, probably about three months ago. And it seemed to change my entire game. I went to having like a 7KD to a 10KD in Rebirth Island on Rebirth Sweat's uh, website. So I think dynamic is a huge reason for that. And I really recommend dynamic uh, over standard or linear. So make sure you guys run dynamic um, aim response curve type. Uh, I didn't change anything with the ADS sense multiplier or the focus. Nothing with this either for zoom. Input uh, dead zone. I kept these default right here. Left stick was 0.15. I haven't touched these. Um, I will, you know, mess around with this stuff in the future. And if I do find something better, obviously I'll make another video um, explaining the reason behind this. But I just kept that default right now. I'm uh, sorry. I went to hit back. Uh, movement, uh, movement behaviors, auto move forward. I have that off. Tactical sprint behavior, single tap sprint. That doesn't really matter, though, when you're um, running automatic tactical sprint. Um, all this good stuff. Slide is standard. I haven't changed any of this. You really can't slide or, you know, you just basically dive. There's really no advanced movement to increase the skill gap and i love you know i love side canceling it was fun is an easy way to get around the map and it is a good way to make plays especially in uh war zone uh war zone one at least so you know it is what it is got to adapt and you know just keep plugging away so plunging underwater i haven't messed with this at all because i really haven't i don't go underwater much uh maybe in war zone two that will change um auto deploy parachute we're gonna take that off uh, but right now, multi uh, multiplayer, it doesn't really matter. Combat behaviors, ADS stick swap off, uh, backpack, all that's off. And a lot of these will, um, looks like it's going to apply to Warzone 2 um, compared to multi uh, multiplayer. Uh, vehicle camera, none of that stuff I really care about. Uh, but yeah, man, that is the best controller settings for PC. Let me know what you guys think. These could change um, in the near future, like I said, with updates and all that good stuff. But I'll be sure to let you guys know if you guys enjoy this content and let me know if you have any other settings that you recommend man so hopefully you guys enjoy it smash that like hit the subscribe button if you guys are new i'll catch you guys in the next one peace